Hi everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, so we're in uh, Stink Sink Zone. And uh, we're gonna head over here. This is our new uh, exit, right over here, the, the Toxic Conduits. Oh, are, are we going to Blight Town, Mike? I, we might just be. <gasps> oh man! I have to remember how to play this character because it's been like... A, a week. week? Yeah. That's how it always seems to be with you, isn't it? Yeah. Me and Pat have been leveling uh, other characters in the meantime because the league's kind of fun, but I actually haven't gone any further than this yet. And also, I have the sound lower because of the time yesterday. <laughs> Pat was playing a fucking annoying ass build. Rose just Thank like dunk 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 Yeah, I know. And then I I decided I was watching a video and I'd lower the volume. So it's kinda how that went. Oh hey, your first uh or maybe not first six socket, but you know. I'm sure we've gotten six sockets before. Hey, the cartographer's chisel, and I'm dying to this fucking poison, Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah, everything here is uh poisonous, I forgot. I mean, it is, it is Blight Town. Of course it's poison. There might even be some toxin in here, too. What the fuck is Blight Town, even? It's a meme, Mike. It, it, don't worry about it. Alright, well, anyways, since we have that thing where uh, Leech is not destroyed at full life, it, we literally do not feel it right now, because... Yeah, and you can just watch Pat's health just fucking drop in it. Yeah, you can see it right there. His, his health is going to be dropping. It. Pretty much so. The chaos damage is one of those ones that kind of pierces. Oh shit! I probably should let him go in there, but I kill too fast. All right, is at some point in the, um, at some point uh, I may switch up to um, uh, the other character at the end game, uh, but that's that's way away from here. Dodre cesspool. All right, so I'm not. I may or may not switch to a necromancer depending on how much Mike hates this build. I I always hate your build. I know you do, but you know, eh. we'll, we'll we'll theory craft with each other at some point and figure out like how much he hates my shit. You know, I, I should say that like I don't actually hate Siam that much. I mean, realistically though, it's it's not like a huge issue if you decide to like. The thing is, when you talk about like inefficiency in a game like this, it's usually just a matter of like a couple percent of certain fucking numbers. It just it just really matters if you're like a complete whore for like RPG shit, you know. That's that's really how it goes. And also I like fighting with Pat, so that's really the uh, yeah, pretty much. To be honest, the difference between a necromancer and the scion for the purposes of what I'm doing is literally a matter of four to eight percent, and that's that's baby town frolics when in reality we're getting numbers up to like two, almost three hundred percent of something, and the difference is four percent. So, eh, you know. Take it how you want. But I kind of like the starting trees for everything not Scion as well. Even though you can kind of go into one of the trees as Scion, I still kind of like the meh. I don't yeah, know. but I mean, you get to skip on some of the more inefficient nodes, dude. I, I just feel like they could do so much more interesting stuff, like to fix the Scion. You know, you know what? Do I think would fix the Scion? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, well, let's just uh, let's just ValveSoftware.com this up. Actually, I'll talk about it more later. Oh shit, it's uh... It's skinny Deodre. Yeah, awesome wait. Ow. I don't even know what... Now, we're getting to the point where I don't really know what attacks you're doing anymore. Because we only did this boss fight like one time. So... She's spawning red balls, it's putting vulnerability on us. And now she's dead. Okay. I mean, the problem is that like... Everyone else probably <laughs> have much more difficulty with this. Uh, whatever. Once more into the breach, and once more we return victorious. Although I have to admit, I did not relish the sensation of imbibing that foul witch's soul. I felt decidedly unclean. Still, our journey nears completion. To the north lies Highgate, and the cessation of our efforts to extract the dark ember from my daily departed beast. And none too soon. Every hour, Katara's strength grows. And the longer he and the other gods dwell on this land, the less is humanity's chance of survival. He felt unclean. Ugh. I mean, I mean, did you see her? I would feel unclean after dealing with that too. Well, I'm going out the sewer outlet. Oh, and we have our first waypoint here. All right, wait, left or right, Pat? Ah, uh, let's go up. 
All right. Cause that's, I got a feeling. Right. You got a feeling of what? Oh, there's a rare here. Thank God Truly, it was the best way to go then. Truly, it was. Truly. All right. So back to what I was saying. What what I think would fix the sign. You know what? I think I think she'd be good. If you didn't change anything about her, but if you made it so she can take three subclasses rather than just two. So your big, your biggest issue isn't necessarily even her skill tree itself, but her ascendancies. I mean, that's what I think ultimately. I mean, her her skill tree isn't great either. Uh, I won't lie. Yeah, but the flexibility it offers, especially for unique builds like what I'm doing, I think is unparalleled. But what? It's whatever. Flexibility what how? Just because he's starting in the middle of the tree. Yeah, so I if, I, if I, for example, if I wanted to go to crit, I could go to crit and I can get vault packed. If I wanted to go melee vault pack, it's a lot easier than like, like from, remember the berserker or the uh, marauder vault pack is a node that basically allows your leech to be instant. And for the marauder, he is really far away from it. And you have to go through some really weird parts of the skill tree to get vault pack, to make your leech instant. Yeah, but then you know. The, the thing is, the best ascendancies actually make the most use out of vault pact um, are not the scions. That's the thing. Like the berserker has like uh, you if you take a, a, a what's called a savage, a savage, hit, a savage kid. Yeah, you get basically like a hundred percent damage leeches life. So that's basically like a hundred percent. Like right now, I've been doing like some stupid shit where I'm like, what's my leech at right now? It's like, uh, I haven't adjusted that heavily into it. Okay, I have like almost 2% leech. Um, yeah, uh, he gets 100% if he takes a really nasty hit, basically. Um, and, and I then, mean, you can just instantly, insta full heal after that, too. Yeah, but the sign will not get that, though. Yeah, but I feel like that's a really inconsistent thing. And I mean, I've done a Berserker before, and the 100% leech is really nice. But you're not always guaranteed to get a savage hit. Sometimes it's a slow drain, not always necessarily big chunks. I'm, d I'm just saying you don't even have that option as a thing. But the, the whole point is like you, the things that you'd want to use vault pack with some of the classes with some need damage, uh, things. You know, you just don't get it at all. Eh. I can't do this just yet. I can't do this just yet. All right, go, open her up. Hopefully it doesn't blow up anything up now. It does not. God, Frostblaze is actually really good with multi-strike. I, I know this. Fucking amazing. I remember there was somewhere we were supposed to go. I think, is this the place or no? Uh, I, mean, I, I think we should have gone back and turned in our quest before now. Oh, uh, that's true, actually. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay. I forgot about this. These owl eyes of mine have been watching the sun goddess from afar. The sun orb lies within her temple, guarded by her most ardent devotee, an exile who, in his insanity, has taken to calling himself the Dawn. That orb is the seed that must be stolen from this new son of hers and planted at the feet of his ancient mother. I've been keeping a close eye on that exile turned sycophant who calls himself the Dusk. Dusk carried the moon orb into the Lunaris and has not returned with it, not as far as I have seen. No doubt he clings to that orb like it's his adopted mother's own nurturing breast. If you were to wean him from the teat and place that orb at the bereft mother's feet, we may yet see the moon itself. You'd suppose someone as crafty as Dodri would have kept her ugly head under wraps as soon as she saw you coming. I guess death robs us of many things, including our common sense. In any case, thank you. The sewers can run clear now that there's no fetid witch clogging up the pipes. Here, have a little something to commemorate your fine clean-up job. Tell me something. Any chance you might be willing to join forces and turn Alfie Prophet with old Argon? You ever heard of the wings of Vesteri? Not just another damned artifact. This one was the highest symbol of the office of the Merikath, held by the Sakhima of Sakhimas. 
History books will say the wings were last worn by Sakima Eseneth, the Golden Sakima, the one who went and got herself murdered by Hector Tatushis. The only problem is that Tatushis himself is up and guarding his pretties once more. Still, if you can recover those wings of Asteri, then I am confident I can sell them back to the Medaketh for a fair sum. They're a cultural icon after all, dripping with sentimental value. What do you say? Alright, I need to see what resistance of Blonde. Cold and Lightning. He's also Cold and Lightning. Uh, oddly enough, that was the one I needed too. Yeah. Where is the reward? I can also get one ring with a socket in it, but I kind of don't need sockets so much right now. And this one is not so great. I mean, it has a lot of stats on it. I don't know, do you need stats? No, I'm, dude, I'm the Scion. Of course I don't need stats. Alright, let me talk to Clarissa then. Exile, you've helped me before. You can help me again, can't you? My hope waits for me to the east, tucked away in a shrine in the key. The Ankh of Eternity. Veruso, Prima Imperialis, placed it there himself at the dawn of the Empire. If the legends are correct, the Ankh has powers over life and death. When paired with the correct Asmerian ritual, I've learned the ritual. All I need is the Ankh of Eternity, and I know I can bring Tormen back. Properly, this time. Will you retrieve the artifact for us? I've tried, but the creatures around the shrine... simply too dangerous. Yes, yes, Tormen, I'm getting to that. I've already prepared a site for the ritual out in the key. Please, meet us there with the Ankh, so that I may yet breathe life into my dearest love. She calls it Key. I call it Quay. I always thought it was Quay, too, but I've become very confused as of late. <laughs> Don't worry. Me and Ken learned how to properly uh, pronounce Lich. <laughs> oh, you speak Hebrew? No, that's, that's just how they do it in, um, well, what's the game? Uh, these unique Warcraft things are no in uh, Divinity: Original Sin. Oh, okay. E Everything is a lich. Also, I may have a couple more uh, currency items now since I've been leveling a second character. Um, it's a block build, which is actually kind of fun. As I said, I might, I might switch to that one when we get to the end game. Uh, but well, that's when we get to the end game. I want to make sure that you know we at least do Merc Lab with this character and kind of have a good time. Uh, oh, you want to show off this story? I I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Story in video games. Who even knows? Oh, uh, yeah. Story in video games. No, but back on Qu uh, Quay or Key, I actually was uh, listening to an audiobook the other day, and then I got to the word, qu like, Quay, but it was like, K, and then I'm now very confused on how to fucking pronounce it. That was our first volatile flame blood. As you I can see, it kind of uh, made an orb and then blew up. It's just well, kind of well, what Well, the orb was following us. Oh, hey, there's an arena here. Oh, uh, Clarissa's here. Exile. You've helped uh, she's, me. She literally said that before. All right. Oh, yeah. It's like, wow, it's so we have odd. to find her the uh, the Unk of Eternity. Uh, well, why she's hanging out in arena? I don't know. That's that seems kind of dangerous, you know. Actually, why does she leave a portal there, Pat? What's wrong with you? Uh, I, I I don't know. Why don't Why don't you leave a portal there? Because it's not my job to think of these things. It's as far back as I'm willing to go to put a portal down. Okay. Do you think they're going to have the WWE Smackdown in that arena? Uh, no, d definitely, definitely. I'm looking forward oh, to that, okay. actually. What, what sword do I have, actually? Oh, I have Rigvolt's Charge. Oh, it's actually a... Actually, that's not that great of a sword, honestly. I just do a lot of damage. You are so <laughs> goddamn flippity-floppity on that. I mean, I, I'm actually comparing it to the we the one-handed weapon I have uh, in, uh, in my uh, other thing, and it's worse. Believe it or not, it's worse. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, come here, take this thing with me. There we go. Now we get some resistances. Oh, wait, no, we get. We get increased armor evasion and energy shield. Oh. That's kind of lame. I thought we got resistances. I think we did get. Re no, no, we don't. No, we don't get resistances. You're thinking of another <laughs> another of the dozens of shrines that we could have gotten. I always forget that.
So, with the Ankh of Eternity, how poorly do you think this is going to go for that poor girl? I mean, it's in an arena, so it's obviously the safest place to, to, to you yeah, know. Yeah, well, let's be honest. This game does not have the best track record for happy ending. Uh, like, look at Piety, first off. How many times have we how many times have we killed Piety so far? Well, uh, we like, found story wise. Do you think there's a maybe a waypoint right past us? I don't know the green. I gate. I don't know actually. Yeah, it's there true, it literally shows on the map. Good. Good. Let's go back now. I mean, what what did we kill Piety? I think four times in total. I can't imagine how poorly it's going to go for Carissa. Well, she's she's not even died once. Well, every single time she had it coming. Okay, also, what ha remember what happened to Nessa? Remember what happened to Groost? Like, all of the shopkeepers. Yeah, fucking they were both, just keep they dropping were like flies. Dicks. They, were, they were dicks. How I was mean, Nessa a dick? She, the fir her first thing was like, Please, Exile, help me get medicine so, so I can cure all these dead babies. It was inappropriate it, it, to ask a stranger to... To help her help, ask. Help, help her cure dead babies. Yeah. It's inappropriate of her. Okay, Completely, whatever. yes. What if it I was Gress' problem? All he wanted to do was protect people and eat, you know, boar. He, he hated us. So fuck that guy. Uh, he, he might have hated you, but me and him got along <laughs> just fine. Oh, okay. He, he, every time I left, he's like, exiles. Kind of thing. No, I, 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 no. every time I left, I, Gress was like, thank you, exile. So, hey, you know, still I, spit I think at you. it's just... Huh? He still spit at you. No, he was spitting on the ground. Asshole. You know, he was doing that good that old Karui. Blast. He was doing that good old Karui dip. Oh, sacrifice at dusk. Oh, uh, the the sacrifice fragments are for like an end game boss. So, uh, good luck finding all four. I mean, actually, it's not oh. that hard. But are, are we? Are, is this gonna be like on the next uh, episode of Path of Exile Z? We collect the last of the sacrifice fragments to. I don't know. Make a wish to the sacra. I don't know. Dude, dude, help me here. I'm, 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 I'm scrambling. All right. I have no idea where the Ankh of Eternity is. Yeah, this whole area is a giant clusterfuck. Uh, like I said, we haven't played this actually a lot, so we, we, we a played lot. this part. We played well this part. We no, I don't this remember this part. This specific fucking part was in the beta, and we just we kind of did it. And the, the the entire quest actually wasn't really done, so we we actually don't really know what's going to happen. No, but when we played it in the beta, it was just a bunch of unused voice lines and yeah. a bunch of text errors. So go figure. Yeah. So okay, I guess it's over here. Yeah, here it is. Okay. It's always some like fucking side passage. I didn't even see this shit though. I know, I know. I I. I it's okay. Make it make a pearl. Not the best place. All right, let's go to Pat's thing. Fucking lazy piece of shit. Now we need to walk all the way back. And I can't jump over that. So we got the Unk of Eternity. Well, let, let's go see how poorly this goes. Give it to me quickly. Finally, Tolman. We can be together as before. Alright. Let's begin. Suffering will besiege us, and yet love will prevail. Pain will imprison us, and yet love will prevail. Grief will engulf us, and yet love will prevail. Death will surely take us, and love will... No. This isn't right. This is... Oh, Tormund, please. Forgive me. Exile, look out! Dude, re read, the, read the Ankh. What does it say? Uh... I mean, read the onk. I, I posted it in chat because I figured it probably got removed from your inventory. Oh. I mean, it was supposed to be horrible things. I knew I should have fucking read that beforehand. If only I could tell Nessa. Uh, Nessa. Nessa? Yeah, t tell Nessa. Let's go back to yeah. Act 1. Hey, you <laughs> know whatever. what? You know what? I wish I could tell her all the nasty shit that happened to you, but come on, man. Really? She wants me to talk to her, but uh, I'm kind of killing. I can't do this just yet. Oh, cool. I leveled. Oh, we gotta kill Tolman. I do it. As you stand over there, like, never mind, he's dead. Okay. Alright. How could I have been so stupid? Russo didn't hide the Ankh out of shame. He hid it out of fear. Out of... Oh my. What did the Ankh really do to his wife? Everything I saw that I read... Lies to cover the truth of what Kiara had really become. Alright. I'll destroy the Ankh. 
We've come a long way since Rusa's day, so I'm thinking I can manage where he so sorely failed. At least that's something I know I can do right. I'll meet you back at the encampment soon. For now, I need to... Look, I, I'll just see you there. I promise. Ride that corpse one last time. Y you know, rigor mortis makes the best, uh, well, pre oh, Of course. Poor Tolman. He was never really with me, was he? Just the shell of a man I loved. Wherever he is now, I hope he is at peace and that he can forgive me for not being able to let go. Here, take something for at least helping me. And thank you for... for everything. Hi, right, is that it, um? No, that's it for, uh... Uh, Miramora, or Anessa. Miramora wants to talk to me. I was out hunting food for our encampment. Like a prowling cat I was. But what I saw marching across the ruins made me feel like a little mouse. Gem-studded warriors pounding the earth, led by their strongest, a captain. I've known of these gemling legionnaires. How they were once the personal swords of Emperor Chittis. But now they rise again, with this captain at their fore. Swallowing my fear, I followed the captain and found a force being gathered within the Grain Gate. Exile. I know it's not fair for me to ask. You have done so many things for us. But if you were to find the captain and slay him and his men, I would honor you greatly. Our little town would not survive an onslaught such as the captain is likely to enact upon us. Alright. That's pretty much it for that. Let's go to Green Gate then. Is it just me or does she talk very slow? I mean, we all talk slow, Pat. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking for boot power, but still. So, oh, and they still have the thing here. So in the in this place, um, when you see like a little guy on the ground in front of the door, it's uh, the way forward usually. I, I think that still applies here. I, I you, no usually, idea. usually you have to go through houses. So when there's a dead guy in front of the door, it means uh, it's a way forward. Yeah, there you go. So there's no dead guy. Well, there actually technically is. I think it's for the back way though. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they, they add little hints of where to go all the time. It's neat. Oh, there's there's a always a here. pile of moths or a torch that leads the way. Corsair Corsair sword. Sword by. Mike, we're not shields here. We're not going out for Corsair. <laughs> what, what, what other kind of memory would you use? Memory? Jeez. Mike, you know Corsair makes all the best gaming appliances and hardware. Not oh, just, not just memory. Th thank you. But also <laughs> really shitty fucking hard drives that break within like two weeks. No, shh, shh you're not making oh, this sorry, advertiser I, sorry, friendly. I, I forgot, I need to shield more. Uh, advertiser bad. friendly, advertiser friendly. Ah, uh, uh, oh god, sorry. Uh, hey, here's a gem, of the gemling legend, legionnaires. Didn't we kill these guys once already? I, I mean, they, they technically exist at one time, yes. They exist. This is time. sudden ignition. Arrow can inflict additional ignite I mean, I have no idea how that works, by the way. Like, I've tried to make that work on another build at one point. Uh... With at least 40 dexterity and radius, burning arrow can inflict an additional... Basically, if you hit them with burning arrow twice, and the first ignites and the second ignites, they can be ignited twice. Yeah. That's all it means. Burn even harder. Burn two, burn harder. Uh, now they have like little bridges here. All right, to Imperial Fields. Completely and utterly oh. different. Yeah, I don't think we've ever actually been like here ever. I mean, how how were we not? I don't know. Additional projectile. It, it's uh, awfully well. flat for an area of Sarn for us to have ever been in it. Let me just say that. That that is true. Oh, are you oh you mean in, in the context of this LP? Or, no, I just mean in the context of like, you know, story wise and just gameplay wise, this area is fucking flat for Sarn. I mean Sarn's like kinda deserty, so Is it? I thought it was more like Rome esque, like like Greek Highland. I mean it's not like completely desert, but it's uh it's Over getting there. Exile. What the Jesus. fuck? 
Torah, holy shit. She just like rained down from the sky. I, I I didn't even know what this what this was. I thought this was like a part of the map. Nope. I can't do this. It's just, just me. Tora. Uh, that's a lot of things. Fun with that. So what was that wand you found earlier? Uh suck uh suck at things, fire an extra projectile. Oh. I should also mention we have been leveling our masters uh most days. Uh, but like I'm kind of like I've I've been casually doing the league, so it's probably like a lot of people probably have the max by now. Uh, but I'm just saying that's what we do. And I actually didn't say during um, when I actually did the thing where I um, where I craft my weapon. If you're missing one of the either the percent physical or the flat physical, you can roll it onto the item with the breach. Uh, sorry, not breach. Yeah, Vegan's like weapon crafting thing. So it might be a good one also to level up. I forgot about that. And, then spell and spellcasters will want to level up Katarina because she had spell damage and various elemental damage stuff to her wands and stabs. Who the fuck does pussy ass fucking spell damage? The I, fuck? Hey, I, I do actually a lot. The fuck? The fuck! No one wants your fruity fucking my fireball builds. Dude, I only do, there's only manly spellcasters here. Dude, I've done, I've done iron will spellcasters before. Don't tempt me. I'll do it again. I'll do a Berserker Spellcaster just for you. You have to do Fist Wizard. Oh! Oh, okay, where I summon, where I summon Fist Ghosts, the Fist people? Exactly. Ah, uh, well, looks like I've got my next build, guys. Fist Wizard incoming. You have to use, you have to use Face Breaker Gloves with some inspectors. With something that punches, I don't know what the, what, what a fucking cool thing is. Maybe those demons from Act 5. Oh, that, yeah, those guys would be baller. No, let's let's go level beyond and let's go grab Dominus's glove and uh, touch a god, people. Oh yeah, there you go. Did you actually get that ability or no? Yeah, that they sweet. added that actually in 3.0. There's a uh, glove you can get later on that is literally the glove that Dominus uses, and it gives you the ability called Touch of God in all caps, and you punch the ground and just do the same effect he does, and it's hilarious. That sounds amazing. It is amazing. As another volatile, we're seeing those already. Those used to be a lot worse. They used to just instantly blow up. Uh, so if you're a melee, well, you know, it sucks to be you. And the damage was always based off their damage multiplied by their health, and it was just it was ridiculous, actually. And by the way, when I say melee, I'm not referring to myself, obviously, because this is clearly not melee, even though it is a melee ability. No, he's talking more about like how my zombies are melee that literally walk right up to people and you know hit them. Yep. Oh, here we go. Something's been going on in this temple. Solaris. Oh, oh my favorite place. <gasps> the best music. Dude, I got used to this because I had to always run for specters. Oh, those were the days, weren't they? The fuck? What is this shit? Holy shit. Holy shit! Can you stop with the flame tornadoes? Jesus Christ. No, dude, I wish I had that ability. That looks so cool, actually. Hey, we're not allowed to have it. I don't even and know what the fucking fireworks are. They're shooting lava balls. <laughs> I, I love how the leech works now because it's like I'm taking no damage all the time. Like like these things just pass through me and I'm wondering to myself like, wow, what, does it really actually do anything? But no, it's it's just it's, it's a slow damage over time and I'm leeching through you it. You know what the way that they changed melee damage on full life, which is a support gem that gives you more melee damage when you're on full life? They actually made it sticky. So since you're always technically at full life, it would you would get the full benefits from that. Eh, I don't know. Eh, it yeah eh. I'm just saying. Uh, let's actually end the episode here, so I'm gonna go back to town. Uh, yeah, you go get whatever item dropped. I'm gonna see if anyone uh, else needs to talk to. Is a Veil Orb. Yeah, you fucking Veil Orb. Alright, somebody's talking to. My courageous hawk removes yet another snake from the long grass. I offer you a reward, but my mind remains unsettled. The captain lies rotting in the ground, buzzing with flies. But if Gemling Legionnaires can regain their sentience, then can all of the monstrosities of the Undying do the same? My thoughts turn to the burrows and chambers beneath the Earth of San. Could there be some new undead civilization growing and preparing itself underground at this very moment? Such thoughts do not make for easy sleeping. Alright, well, we got another skill book. That's my inventory. Alright, so we're gonna start heading into this cold damage. I wonder if this actually tells me how much cold damage I do. 
with my uh, frost blades. Yeah, it does actually tell me. So you can see I still do a bit of physical damage and cold damage, but I, actually I should probably do that more later when I start going to the nodes. But but we're gonna basically do 100% conversion because uh, frost blades are. Uh, it's right now 60% uh, conversion. So, anyways, uh, thanks all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.